The iPhone 5C is in many ways what you have all been looking for. Sleek, efficient, and harmonious with design and technological intellect. As a senior VP of design at Apple, I know what you're thinking. This is the same shit you've seen over and over again. Well, you're right. <laughs> I can't believe you guys keep buying our products. We haven't done anything new in like the past six years. Remember when we added video capabilities to our phone and every single one of you were like, oh my God. Phones had video capabilities for years by then. Why were you so surprised? Hmm? You see at Apple, we like to add shit a little bit behind. So every time we bring something out, you think it's a new innovation and it's not. And you keep falling for it. You know what we do to get you guys? We always get some dude with a thick British accent to explain the technology because it makes it seem more legit. Watch this. Edward, why don't you come here for a second? Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to read the script and read it in a British accent. Go. I don't feel comfortable doing this shit. Well, you f just do it, okay? Just right I, I can't even do a British accent! F do it, Ed. This phone is amazing. Before, it was made with a beautiful metal. Now it's made with a fantastic class. F this shit. I can't do this. I said British, not dumbass, you fing idiot. Oh, you motherfucker. You want we even made the material cheaper and you still like it. What? We cut corners on this one. And you still like it. The iPhone 5C. You know what the C stands for? It stands for cash, because bitches, we taking all your money. You see, with this one, the trick is to add a lot of bright colors to attract the female gender, much like the baboon when he presents his big bright red ass. And of course, we have another iPhone coming out called the iPhone 5S. You know what the S stands for? Same shit. With the iPhone 5S, you can also expect a lot of innovative technology, such as fingerprint recognition, which translates to the most useless shit on earth. Can I ask you something? What the f are you doing with your life that you gotta protect your shit with the fingerprint, huh? Bitch, you ain't that special. What, let me guess. You afraid somebody's gonna steal your identity? Let me tell you something. If I stole your identity, I'll kill myself. Here's something a little funny. Remember when Siri came out? All of you guys were so surprised and shocked by its technology that you were amazed and your jaw just dropped, right? Guess what? Siri sucks monkey balls. And here's a little something else for you. Did you know that Siri is racist? Yeah, racist. No, go ahead, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead, get Siri, and see if Siri recognizes you with your accent. Do it now. Siri, telling me where I heading to go, huh? I don't understand. You bitch. Ah, uh, yeah, Siri, why don't you tell me what the destination? I didn't find anything for I got I don't tell me what the reason. No man, Siri, why don't you tell me where the closest supermarket is? I don't know what that means. Siri, why don't you tell me where the closest convenient place is for the motel? I didn't find anything for it. I don't get anywhere the closest convenient native 20 more dad. You know what phone I really like is that Samsung Galaxy. Did you see the size of that screen though? It's beautiful. The screen has a great resolution. And I still don't understand why to this day basketball players buy the iPhone. For example, Shaq, you know damn well that iPhone looked like a Tic Tac in your big ass Sasquatch hands. With your big ass index fingers, your pinky alone can open up seven apps in one push. And I know this has nothing to do with the phone, but did you guys see that fool in that Buick commercial? Hmm. Bitch, you fit in that car? I saw that commercial. Your kneecap was directly in your Adam's apple. iPhone. Buying the same shit over and over again. Give us your money.